Hi, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Welcome to Extrication Minutes, every Tuesday on Fire Engineering. This week, we're going to talk about the High Voltage Inverter Converter Unit. Okay, so the inverter converter unit is used in hybrid and electric vehicles to take the DC current from the battery, from the high voltage battery, and then transform that into AC current to be used to power the motors that drive the drivetrain of the vehicle. And then when the vehicle is coasting or braking, like in the case of regenerative braking, then that energy being created by the motor's spin is AC energy. To charge that battery with that energy, it's got to be converted back to DC in order to complete that charging process. So that all takes place in the vehicle's inverter converter unit. But what's important for rescuers to understand is that the inverter converter unit contains both AC and DC high voltage current. It is one of the most hazardous components to rescuers on, and high, on a high voltage vehicle. So where is it located? That's one of the most important things for us to understand. Usually, the inverter converter unit is located under the hood, up against one of the upper rails. It's exactly where we wouldn't want it to be if we're gonna blindly drive a Halligan or other prying tool underneath the vehicle's engine compartment hood in the case of like a vehicle fire to get a nozzle into that area. So we want to take great care when we blindly force an object under the hood of a late model vehicle, especially if we've identified it as a high voltage vehicle. So what's the alternative? Well, we can look at a few different ways. We can use a, a prying tool up by the hinge area of the hood, and we can pry that open, then maybe we can solve all that hood, hinges off. There's a few different approaches to that, but we want to avoid that high voltage inverter converter unit in our hybrid and our electric vehicles. Again, located usually under the hood in the engine compartment up against one of the upper rails of the vehicle. The, the unit itself is typically made of aluminum. So it's an aluminum housing that holds those high voltage components. It's going to be easy for us to break that unit and get involved or, or engaged with those high voltage components. So we want to use great care with that. There's also high voltage capacitors inside the inverter converter unit. These can be upwards of 600 volts. So we want to avoid coming in contact with those high voltage capacitors in the inverter converter unit. Hey, thanks for watching this week's Extrication Minutes video. I'm Brock Archer. Take care. Be safe.